On the weekend sip this Friday, what's old is new again with barrel aged beer catching on again. With beer fans, so welcome up. What Market Watch columnist Charles Bassey is here with, along with Emma Moody, who rejoins us on the show uh, to tell us about what we have here today. I love this idea. This is this, this beer was this was supposed to be thrown out. This beer and then right, decided, right, you know, right, right, right. Let's keep right. it. Well, let, yeah, let's tell us start, about that. Let's start with the idea of barrel aging. I mean, barrel aging was the way beers were stored in barrels. You know, more than a century ago, we eventually went to stainless steel, but. Lo and behold, in, in, in more recently, we've discovered beer tastes kind of good when it's put in barrels. So um, uh, this company, Innocent Gun, they're out of Scotland. They were essentially hired out by uh, whiskey makers to essentially put um, uh, their beer into whiskey barrels to flavor the whiskey barrels. Right. The beer was then discarded, and then they were going to put they put whiskey into, and they would get a little bit of that beery flavor in the whiskey. Um, the thing was, the guys in the factory. Yeah, this hey, is a well, true well, story. The guys in the factory, <laughs> true story, started, started drinking it right. and saying, "Wow, this beer is really good." And they and then the company said, "Let's bottle the beer," and um, and it's a, it's a terrific thing. But this is another flip. They've turned it around. They, they, yeah. This is like an, a, yet a, yet another iteration. This is a rum barrel beer. So um, so you've got the flavor of the rum barrel here. Um, um, it's a little bit of a newer version for them. Um, let's try it. I, yeah, I, I, yes, I think it's terrific. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I like it. Do you, do, you think yeah, I like you get, do you taste the two things sort of going on here? I mean, I, I do. I mean, it's it's a very malty beer. Scottish beers tend not to have a, that hoppy flavor, I'm, not as so much bitterness. It's funny, I was expecting a more hoppy taste. And right, you don't. You, Scot I, get the malt, Scottish yeah. beers, you get much more of the malt flavor. But then you get this nice sweetness on top yeah, yeah, or whatever. Actually, and it lingers, doesn't right. it? Yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I think it's a very well made beer. Yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I I'm, definitely, definitely I'm like it, Emma. Yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah, I was introduced to this actually a while ago by my father, who had travelled in Scotland and had become a very big fan of it. And yeah, it's, I, I it's, think it's, it's a winner. It's big in Scotland. It's big in Canada. It's big in Sweden. The big challenge for them now is to see if they can make it in the United States, and that's what they're trying right now. All right. Well. All right. We'll try now. Cheers. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.